very fascinating guys what's up guys welcome to another video i hope you guys are all doing good kanye is arguably the greatest artist of all time uh i think a lot of people know this but they don't want to admit it i've been watching some of his videos what he's going through right now yo this yay we just sold out the united center in seven minutes and i just wanted to express to everybody out there to see if it's anyone that can help with this it's the only arena that I had access to in the past year. And when I call, people say there's no avails for me. And you know why that is. So if there's anybody out there that can help with this, please do. Just studying him and the way he has been moving, because I think that Kanye has done a lot that has pushed us as black people forward. Uh, and uh, this is going to be somewhat of a review for his new song, Vultures. Uh, I just watched the music video and I think it's the most beautiful music video that I've ever seen. Uh, artistically, he's always been there. And I've said this so many times about Kanye West, like he is the greatest artist of all time. Uh, but I do think that the song Vultures itself is just not there. Uh, it's not trash, but it's it's Kanye looking for himself. Everyone, it is with great pleasure that I can say we have made it to what will likely be the best and most satisfying day of this entire Vultures rollout. Following the constant waiting, delays, and trolling we've had to endure so far because we are finally getting our hands on Kanye's first Vultures volume since it was initially promised to us way back in December of last year. But I think this album release is all but guaranteed at this point and we did get some late night news further confirming my suspicion. At around 5 a.m. Eastern Time last night, the Apple Music listing for Vultures Volume 1 was removed, not just wiped, but taken down entirely, which means that Kanye and Ty are officially updating at least the track list and maybe also the album cover art. I'm like 99% sure they're gonna stick with the Gosha Rubchinsky designed Burzum inspired art, but on the off chance that changes, it would be done when the album is reposted to streaming services. When it comes to Kanye's catalog, there is no one which can even come close. Like he is the greatest artist in building these like albums. Like you, you sit and you listen to all of his albums and you just think like shit, all of them make sense. Sonically, they make sense. He has connected everything, but this Vultures album, even when I saw his what listening party, I just thought to myself, I was like, it doesn't make sense. Like who is this for? And I want you to try something when you listen to the song. Just listen to it and just like, you, you can't really remember what he's saying in the song. Like every single Kanye album has always had some form of purpose or he's trying to solve something or he's going through something, then he puts it in the music. 808 and Heartbreaks, I think that was a breakup album. The, I would say the, the most impactful album of our generation. Um, and it created so many sub-genres when it comes to hip-hop. So that is my, personally, my favorite Kanye West album. Friday is the date that we're supposed to get the new Kanye West album. Um, will we get it? Today he posted, there's a listening party on Thursday, <laughs> February 8th, at the United Center in Chicago. If there's a listening party the day before, no, we're not Vultures getting Vultures Volume 1. We're getting version. They're going to hear version like seven. So it's supposed to drop Friday, right? I have inside information that Kanye West, literally when he was opening up, when he did a surprise, when he was at the Travis Scott concert last week, tra uh, Kanye West and Travis Scott were literally making a song from scratch that day. Literally. Meaning this album is not done. Will it drop Friday? But, no, no, you guys can have your hopes up. I think it's not it's not dropping. That's now there's three albums. That doesn't necessarily. So it might be for volume say. two. It might be for volume, volume three. Doesn't necessarily mean it has to be for volume Yo, one. Yo, Donda took a year, bro. This might actually drop. You know, oh, is this no gonna fuck. be like an impactful, like wild, like oh my god, album? We've been waiting. We want an album. Does it matter? If the music is good, who cares? Isn't you know, well, if the music you know, is good, if it's, the it's the gonna music impact. Is good, it's gonna it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. That's all that matters. Will the music be good? I don't know. I uh -huh. just don't know anymore. I don't know. I just don't, bro. It's the same way with Drake. I don't know anymore, bro. Nigga, I'll tell you what's a big indicator that the music won't be... It'll probably be mid, but it won't be good, great. 
What the, is the standard of good here? Let's be real. Bro, do you listen to the Vultures? The single? To the, didn't we react to this together? Are we going by... No, we did. I hated it. I just think that Vultures is trash, if I'm being honest. It's just... Sonically, it's not there. I, I just don't understand who it's for. Uh, even Donda had some form of, like, a theme. All of Kanye's albums have had a theme. But this one, it's just... It's it's just not there. So, yeah, that's what I think about Kanye West's Vultures. And I don't understand why he would even have Ty Dollar Signs featured on the whole album. I'll get maybe two, maybe three songs, but why are you featuring him? And his Ty Dollar Signs is not even like the best of the best. I would want to see a Drake and Kanye West album. I would love to see a Burna Boy and Kanye West album. Now is the time for Kanye West to move to Africa because I know he's been complaining a lot about how they have been treating him in America. So um, it's an audience participation game and uh, we have a list of quotes and half of them were said by Kanye West <laughs> and half of them were said by Hitler. <laughs> and you have to guess who said which quote. <laughs> When a man is starving in the streets, he's not thinking of bread and water, but of caviar and champagne. Hitler! Hitler! Hitler. Hitler. <laughs> um, I, put this I stand here as a revolutionary. It is as a revolutionary against the revolution. Think of this, if Kanye was to move to Africa right now, he would be untouchable. Now you can film whatever you want. He has enough money to relocate to Africa. I know it will be maybe difficult with the kids and all of that, but maybe even a year, two years, just pair up with artists there. I understand where we're heading right now. Everybody's starting to do like what Afro pop and Ama Piano is the next wave, right? And Kanye has always been ahead. He's, he's always understood like when the trends are about to start and when to jump off that trend and go to something else. But I'm not, I'm not hearing it on this album. There's so much to say. There's so much you have to be careful about saying. But why am I talking about it if, if I feel so conflicted? Well, I mean, this is a major moment in music. Every single thing that he does is a major moment in pop culture, a major moment in American history. It, it truly is. And so, yes, we are talking about the most canceled of all canceled people, who, someone who, through his words, lost $1.6 billion. Uh, but of course, <laughs> no one is ever really canceled as is evidenced by the fact I'm talking about this. But let me talk to you about some of the conflict that I feel. Now, first of all, anti-Semitism is wrong and bad, and the artist currently known as Ye has expressed anti-Semitic beliefs. The real enemy in all this, the real enemy, especially when it comes to black celebrities espousing anti-Semitic beliefs, is not the black celebrities, it is white supremacy, okay? And then the second thing is, I'm uncomfortable because he's actually not well, right? Like, we all know this. And Cat Williams said a lot of things on his interview with uh, Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp, perhaps the best broadcaster alive in America. 
he's at least up there, top five, and he has been for years. I suspect that we're pretty awful people if we say that somebody got a mental illness and then we watch what they do. If you say somebody got special needs, then why would you be watching them and holding them accountable like everybody else? Wouldn't you grade them on a curve? When asked about Kanye, the artist currently known as Ye, Cat Williams said, I suspect, I'm not going to try to do the voice, that we are all pretty awful people if we say someone's got a mental illness and then we watch what they do. Can't we grade them on a curve? As he... As he summarizes, I won't support or villainize Kanye because we don't understand what it is that we want from him. And I think that's true. So what do I want from Kanye? The artist currently known as Ye? I want, this is going to be shocking, art. Those are my thoughts a little bit when it comes to Kanye West and what I think that he should do right now. I think that he has an opportunity to go to Africa work a little bit with Burna Boy, work with Remma, work with African artists, maybe be somewhere in Nigeria, do a little bit like what Dave Chappelle did when they blackballed him. Rebuild yourself, like come with something new because I feel like Kanye is like, he's so ahead of his time and you can see that what, the visuals are perfect, but it's there's just something that is not connecting. 